nations. Today, the Senate will vote to confirm another member of President Biden's cabinet, Javier Becerra, to serve as Secretary of Health and Human Services. In truth, Attorney General Becerra's nomination should not have taken this long. From the moment the Attorney General was, was Attorney General Becerra was announced as President Biden's pick for HHS, Senate Republicans have tried to derail his nomination. Their, their arguments are almost verge on the ridiculous. They complain loudly that he has no direct experience as a medical professional. Even though Republicans voted in lockstep to install Alex Azar, a pharmaceutical executive who raised drug prices and tried to undermine our nation's health law, health law as the previous HHS secretary. Becerra, by contrast, has decades of standing up for working and middle-class Americans in Congress, fighting to protect and expand Medicare, Medicaid, and working to safeguard our health care system from attacks by the Trump administration. As the Biden administration works to defeat this pandemic, the president deserves to have his cabinet confirmed, especially a post as important as HHS secretary. I look forward to completing his nomination today. A few days after Democrats gained control of the Senate, we had big tasks ahead of us right away. I said that we had three important priorities to do quickly. One, the impeachment trial of Donald Trump. Two, big and bold COVID relief. And three, President Biden's cabinet. We have already finished the first two priorities and very soon we're gonna finish the third. I wanna thank my colleagues, my Democratic colleagues, for working so quickly, so hard, and in such a unified team effort to allow all this to happen. It, I'm very proud of what we have done in these first few months. Later today, the Senate will take its first vote on the nomination of Boston Mayor Marty Walsh to be our nation's Labor Secretary. Early next week, after we confirm him, the Senate will have confirmed every available Cabinet Secretary and many more Cabinet-level appointments beside. That is excellent progress. And again, I want to thank my colleagues in the Senate on both sides of the aisle for their votes in supporting these fine nominees. What does it mean? It means the Biden administration will have the personnel in place to implement the American Rescue Plan, finish the fight against COVID-19, and bring our country roaring back. In the meantime, the Senate must continue to work to get the rest of the President's team in place. And now on the American Rescue Plan. As Americans learn more and more about ARP, the American Rescue Plan, the more popular it becomes and the more optimistic Americans feel about our economic recovery. Across the country, the support for the rescue plan has risen to over 70%. In January of this year, before President Biden took office and Democrats assumed the majority in the Senate, more than five, four in five Americans believed America was on the wrong track. Less than one in five said it was on the right track. Now a majority, 55%, believe the country is headed in the right direction, is back on the right track. That's a dramatic turn rather quickly, but I think it's in part because of the good work we have done here in the Senate. Now will you learn something else? Consumer confidence has increased faster after the passage of the American Rescue Plan than after any of the other stimulus bills passed by Congress, particularly among low and middle income Americans who have suffered the most. That's fantastic news. Americans at the top have been able to survive the pandemic much more easily than Americans at the lower end of the ladder. For that reason, economists have long feared a K-shaped recovery in which high income earners recover quickly while middle and low income earners are left behind. The American Rescue Plan is finally restoring confidence and support for Americans at the middle and at the bottom, helping drive a robust recovery for everyone. One crucial aspect of that recovery is support for housing. As we all know, the pandemic put tens of millions of Americans out of work and drained family incomes. Americans were forced into impossible choices. Do I pay the rent and utilities this month, or do I buy another few weeks of groceries? Sadly, 
More than 13 million Americans report that they have fallen behind on the rent, especially black and brown Americans. So when Senate Democrats put together the American Rescue Plan, we made one of the most significant investments in housing assistance in recent history. More than $20 billion in emergency aid for low-income renters, those at the greatest risk of eviction. $10 billion to help homeowners behind on mortgages and utilities <clears throat> to avoid foreclosure. We include crucial support for rural America, homeowners struggling with the mortgage, and Americans, particularly veterans, who have recently fallen into homelessness or are at risk of homelessness. The American Rescue Plan goes further in delivering housing assistance to tribal nations and native Hawaiians more than any other housing bill in history. The American Rescue Plan, quite literally, will keep a roof over Americans' heads. It's just one of the many ways the ARP delivers relief to struggling Americans and sets the stage for a supercharged economic recovery. I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin.